three with one on the clock. Knocks it down. That's a thing of beauty right there. The three-point shot, nothing but net. Young's looking for the screen to get himself open. Still plenty of time, 12 seconds on the shot clock. He curls, shot blocked by Valanchunas. To the basket, flips it up. The Raptors with control on the rebound. Nails it. He's shooting 80% from the field tonight. And there's a timeout call. Where was this attacking of the basket earlier in the game? Before you got down so big. I don't want to see this drive and score now when you're being blown out. Show that to me earlier when the game was still on the line. substitutions as both teams mix it up. Turner's trying to get down low. Ball comes loose. Eleven seconds now on the shot clock. Sensational defense sending that one back. Allison's choosing the screen, looking to get free. Great pass. Turner for two, able to put it in. With plenty of room, he fires for two, able to knock it down. He's five for six from the field. It's a blowout tonight because they continue to do a great job probing in the mid-range part of the floor for open jump shots. Collison on the drive. Sweet bank shot. Sometimes the simplest plays are the hardest ones to execute. Good layup. Defense has to switch. Rosen. Excellent ball movement around the perimeter. Lowry jump shot. Gets it to go. He's averaging 19 points per game this season. Gibbs is trying to establish some low post position. Gibbs fires away. Balance. That's good. He's shooting 56% from the field. Oh, excellent screen. We're down to 11 seconds on the shot clock. DeRozan against Collison. To Valanchunas. For two on the fadeaway, and Jonas Valanciunas with the bucket. I have such admiration for guys who can consistently put the ball in the bucket. Got off to a great start and hasn't let up here in the second half. Ibaka's using the screen, trying to get free. Puts it down. Oh, he flushed that one right on top of his head. The two defenders swarm. 
to the basket. Rebound corralled by Lowry. Good setup with the entry pass. He loses control of it, stolen by Young. Time and again, the ability to disrupt offensive flow through forcing turnovers. We're seeing it here by this guy in the first half. Gives up on the shot and passes it out. He's left open, puts it in. That's a two-pointer. Toronto's down by 36. And Indiana calls timeout. They want to talk it over. Good timeout taken here. The opposing team's coming on a run. You get your team focused at the timeout. Tell them, we're at home. We need to finish this off in a close game in the second half. going to make some changes and switch up the matchups. Sabonis is trying for position in the paint. Blocked by Valanciunas. Out of bounds, turnover. And here's another look at that spectacular play. Victor Oladipo will be the man for the inbound. Eight seconds now on the 24. To Oladipo. They work it around the perimeter. Gibbs fires from downtown with one on the 24. Here's the pick. To Lowry. Goes to the goal, puts it in, plus the foul. A sweet dish from Kyle Lowry. And he'll head to the line with a chance to complete a three-point play. And he earned the free throw, Mike. He deserves every bit of this three-point opportunity. He reacted perfectly to the contact, gathered his bearings, and got the shot off. Great play right there to earn the trip to the free throw line. Three-point play. Up, up. Here you go. To Young, Gibbs is looking to get free off the screen. Oh, that's a mismatch. That's a mismatch. Oh, nice rejection by Valanciunas. Ball goes out of bounds. And Al Jefferson comes back in. He's well rested now. The Pacers get the inbound in here. Shot clock says 12. Gets inside. There's the switch. Puts it up from three point range as the shot clock goes down to two. Dumps it off beautifully. Ball comes loose, stripped away, stolen by Jefferson. Man, this defensive intensity, forcing turnovers, exactly what you want to see in the first half of every game. Terrific job forcing turnovers. Gibbs is looking to post up. Fires away for two. Soft touch gets the roll. He's the league's top scorer this season. Screen set nicely. Shot clock down to 12 seconds remaining. Loses control. Reaches in. Taken away by Jefferson. And he slams it home. And the whistle. And one. Chance at a three-point play now with the free throw coming up. 
That's just poor basketball right there. To give up a dunk and also a soft foul that leads to a possible three-point play, it's no reason that they're behind by a large margin. The free throw, and he completes the three-point play. DeRozan's trying to get free off the pick. Valanchunas. Nice fake. The layup. That's a two. He's shooting 88% from the field. This isn't like the YMCA layup line. This is like real life. As you go in to try to finish, defense is coming over. This is spontaneous. The oh, that's a devastating dunk in his face. There was no one who was going to stand in his way. The explosion, the athleticism, and the dunk. To DeRozan. To the rim, throws it back. And DeMar DeRozan with a nice shot for two. Very efficient use of the dribble right there to get by the defender and make the layup. Double team closing in for the layup. Scores. Nice touch. That's just a nice layup right there. DeRozan for two. Let's it go. And that's his ninth rebound of the game. He loses it. There's a foul. It's called against the Raptors. Now they're over the limit and the penalty. So free throws for the Pacers. Knocks down the first one. Able to convert on both free throws. To Ibaka. Oh, excellent. The ball stolen. He loses control of it. Young for two. Shoots away. Knocks down the shot. Second half. It's easy when you're winning big to take possessions off. Here, they didn't do that. Force the turnover, run it down their throat, and then make them pay for their lackadaisical attitude towards the game. Sweet off the glass. That's nice body control right there on that layup. Good finish. Toronto's hoping to stop this run and stop it now. Ball knocked loose, and Kyle Lowry's hit with his sixth foul. He is done for the night. Now, Coach, think it's time for a change. We're going to have some substitutions right now. And he hits the first free throw. Toronto has got to be disappointed with how this game turned out. Tough loss for them here today. Pulls it up. That's a three. Doesn't get the roll. And this game is finished. The final score is 124 to 82. For Jeff Van Gundy and our entire EA Sports crew, this is Mike Green saying thanks for watching and good night. Game wrap up. The Pacers.
could not have been more dominant in this game. The scoring display they put on is gonna be hard to forget. It's hard to imagine anyone doesn't come away impressed with how effectively they score their points. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Indiana Pacers. The Raptors really lost big in this matchup, and you could tell it was tough on them. Losses like this become main discussion topics in the media. So hopefully this team is ready to answer the tough question. It's not going to be fun. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Toronto Raptors. Game track. Points in the paint. The Toronto Raptors lost this game on the scoreboard, obviously. But they really lost this game by not being physical enough. Again and again, they allowed the ball to get inside, and once it was there, it was getting scored. A lot. Defensively, their resistance around the paint was the worst in the closing half. Player of the game. I like this choice because he really put on a show in this game. There's a reason he's a fan favorite. And now, of course, the shot chart. Who was Cole? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. Here's a look at the NBA matchup schedule for today. Here's a view of the Eastern Conference standings. Let's look at what's coming up for the Indiana Pacers. This has been a presentation of ESPN on EA Sports. Until next time, I'm Jalen Rose, signing off.